Hello again and welcome to another Morning Mondays. This is episode 92 and it's an actual proper Morning Mondays because I am actually hosting and showing off some pictures of some mornings I've actually painted. It's a miracle. Okay, maybe it's not exaggeration, but it just feels right and proper and nice to be back on painting the Mordians. We've had our fun painting up the Scions and playing with a proper army that can actually do something. But you know what? That's just, just not the same. I talked about this on Friday. I did a video talking about how you know, guard players were meant to have the soul, were meant to play our armies the way we love to play them. And that got me just wanting to paint some up paint up some proper audience and so I figured you know what I've got loads of uh, heavy both teams that I had built and base coated and haven't got around to painting and I want to get back onto my audience anyway sure painting the sounds is like clearing my backlog but it's a different kind of backlog it's still part of the pile of shame but that is done now and I thought you know what let's get back onto clearing the regular guard backlog let's get painting some more Doom 50 rifles and that's what we have done so as you can see, I have painted three heavy bolter teams. I actually bought and built and put together, I had loads of spare heavy weapon teams because, you know, I've just, just, I have too many. My bits box takes up like six drawers at this point. I had so many heavy weapon teams left over because I bought um, loads of the uh, of the Brood Brothers boxes that come with uh, heavy weapon teams. And I, had, and I had some heavy weapon teams left over from other various job lots and whatnot. Uh, and I had loads, but I had built them as things like las cannons, you know, and I hadn't actually built them. I had loads of spare heavy bolts left over. And at the beginning of 9th, I was like, you know what, you know, heavy bolters are, gonna be, are still going to be pretty good. Now, unfortunately, as it turned out, that heavy bolters aren't as good as they were in 8th. In 8th, they were definitely the standard go-to heavy weapon. And now, heavy bolters are just okay. But to be fair, for your standard infantry squad, heavy bolts are still probably one of the better choices you can go for. I mean, it's either that or an auto cannon. Uh, you know, auto cannons are slightly better at sort of killing raiders and death guards, stuff like that, and um, you know, potentially toughness five marines. Although, whilst we partially saw the, I'm all over the place in today's video. Whilst we partially saw, you know, the T5 spam coming in that we predict, that I predicted at the beginning of night. Um, heavy incenses haven't really made their mark yet, but I suppose there is loads of gravis shit that hangs around. Anyway, the point is, is I had a load of heavy bolts that are built ready for 9th edition, and then they turned out not to be as good as I expected. But they're still, you know, the best of all the heavy weapon teams you could probably put in your infantry squads. So I figured, you know what? Let's put them together. Let's get this old Mordian restoration project back on the road. We've kind of done the Scion restoration project. Let's get back on the Mordian one. And I did a bit of an inventory because, you know, being a Mordian, I love to, you know, count and paint models and organize them and place all the army out and make, get, you know, make sure everything's organized. Got to be organized if you're a Mordian, got to be smart. So I got all the models sorted back out, all reorganized them into the proper platoons that I built them. And I realized that I was actually really, really close to finishing off fourth platoon so i did a video at the beginning of the year talking about how you know i've got the full company up and running and um you know we that's three platoons full fully equipped with auxilia and heavy weapon teams and all that kind of stuff and i realized that actually i had got a lot of the way through fourth platoon as well and so what i did is i've painted up these three heavy bolters and what these heavy bolts are going to be used for, they're not going to be used as a heavy weapon squad. They're actually going to be put into some regular infantry squads that haven't got heavy weapon teams yet. Because I've got, I've got so many goddamn heavy weapon teams. I actually have enough to put one in every single squad and then some for heavy, dedicated heavy weapon teams, heavy weapon squads as well. So I figured if I put these three heavy bolters into uh, my regular infantry squads, that frees up six riflemen. Now with those six riflemen, I can take those and I can actually combine them with three spare plasma guns that I have left as well. And I've, I've already painted those plasma gunners up. And I will actually also have an officer slash sergeant, veteran sergeant, for the old one of the old Cadian ones, who's got a peaked cap and a plasma pistol and a power sword. And you know what? With those six riflemen... And with those three plasma guns and that plasma pistol, power sword, sergeant, you know what I've got there? Another veteran squad. Do you know what that means? I have now got six infantry squads and 
the veteran squad completed four fourth platoon. On top of that, I actually have also got two of the officers and the commissardom for that fourth platoon as well. Which means the only elements that I have left for fourth platoon to complete them is a priest and three and a heavy weapons team. And once I've done that, we're going to be gravy. Now, so I've actually almost completed, you know, the first platoon of the second company of the Morian 50 Rifles, which is really, really cool. Now, I also had a little think about how I want to reach the full regiment. Okay, how I want to do that. And so I was playing around, and what I'd really appreciate is some feedback from you guys on how is the best way to do it. And I think I have the plan for not only completing my restoration project, and therefore, you know, painting up all the old models and bringing the modules back to full glory. But I also think I kind of have a plan of how I can actually say, mission accomplished, I have a full law appropriate regiment. Or what should I say, a, a minimum, I have a law appropriate regiment. Because if you look at what is needed for like a red, obviously there's loads of different regimental organizations in the guard, but if we try and draw some real world parallels, and try and feed that in based on some of the Gorn's Ghost books and stuff like that. What I've kind of realised is that with with the Mordians, what I could do is have three companies. And if I have three companies, each one made up of three platoons, that would be nine platoons. Then I'm able to have one full battalion. And one full battalion equals, it can, can be the minimum you need for a regiment. Okay, so I was thinking, how, what's the best way to get around this? Now, the current platoon format that I've been going off is actually being incorrect. You see, I've been doing my platoons on the assumption that I need six platoon, six squads per platoon, because I take, when I'm, when I'm actually using the army on the tabletop, I take six squads per battalion detachment. I know I'm, that's going to get confusing, battalion detachment and real real law battalion but just bear with me for each attachment that i use on the tabletop i i take i've got six troop choices and i take six six infantry squads but if you actually go back and look at what was in an old guard platoon via the law via the fluff what was in the old guard platoon in the code old codexes it actually was five squads maximum not six which has made me think that i've actually been painting an extra infantry squad up per platoon i don't need to i don't need to be painting that up so that's got me thinking that's got me thinking that maybe it is time for a little bit of a a reorganization because what i currently have is um six squads per platoon and i've got four uh and i've got four platoons worth of infantry squads but if I reorganize it and take that down to five squads per platoon, as per the law, as per the old codexes, then that would actually give me, I wouldn't be gaining any more men. You know, I'm kind of fudging the numbers a little bit, but I'm being a bit more law accurate. And what that would do is it would free up four infantry squads. And that would actually bring me closer to having another platoon done. And so I'd actually, not only would I have fourth platoon done, I'd actually have fifth platoon done if we go by this restructuring this reorganization this being more law accurate so that's really got me thinking i don't know what you guys think about that is it footing the numbers slightly or would it be more law accurate i mean i think it, I, for, to me personally it's not going to cut the thing is it's not going to cut out any work i'm still going to restore every single model it just might mean that when it comes to doing some sort of great mordian expansion project just to take it to the next level and to get to the full regiment it might be a little bit easier for me to achieve that goal, which is, you know, which is fine. Um, now, here's the next thing I was thinking about. Here's the next thing. If uh, if the company is made up of, if the regiment is made up of a battalion, and the battalion is made up of three companies, then I am in a funny sort of way. Could I could I actually um, could I actually fudge the numbers a bit more? Now, this is potential. This is potential fudge full-on caramel is what this could be but i've got one platoon of in, uh, one company of infantry fully done and i'm working on my second company of full infantry but what about those 
other elements where you've got like I've got my veterans and I've got the assault corps and I've got all the military auxiliar departmental military auxiliar stuff like the ogres and the bulgrins and the scholastica psychana guys psychos all that kind of stuff when you think about it those if we're being more law accurate those aren't part of the regiment they might you know regiments might prefer working with those elements but they are technically part of the auxiliar so I'm just wondering if Either I say they are part of the regiment, in which case could third company be made up of all my veteran squads, all my uh, assault corps and all my like uh, auxiliar stuff, which would be kind of cool because then it means I've almost got I've almost got three companies. Or do I say no, if I'm going to do three companies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three infantry companies and I have nine platoons of regular infantry or is there like a line is there a, is there a good combination that i could do could i do a, a mixture of say okay so the first two will be infantry companies and then the next one will be made up of the veterans and the assault corps and maybe that would be enough i don't think that would be enough to fill up a whole company though i don't think it would be so it's interesting what do you guys think very much open to input decisions. I mean, there is that temptation to go for, you know, the full whack. The full whack, like nine infantry platoons. Each platoon is going to have uh, 70 men in it, minimum. Uh, maybe 80 men. And you're going to be looking at, like, you know, for the company, for the regiment, you're going to be looking at like 800 guardsmen. Nine, it could maybe even be 1,000 guardsmen, potentially. Which would be insane. I'm not quite. I don't quite. I don't have a thousand guards and models yet. I got five hundred. So you know, it's interesting. I'm kind of. I'm kind of open. I'm kind of open to uh, just suggestions and ideas. Just thoughts and feedback. I may use some of it. I may not use all of it. You know, I may take elements of it. But what do you guys think? It just feels nice to be back painting mornings. It feels nice to be doing a proper morning Monday. Uh, but like, so that's kind of just a bit. It's a classic morning Monday. I'm rambling. I'm talking about all sorts of shit. Uh, the plan for next week is to um, get some more Mordians done. Uh, I have another heavy weapons team, three heavy bolters. I have another one of those, good to go. Uh, and if I do them and the priest, then I'll have um, this this fourth platoon completely done then. Because I'll have the veterans, I'll have the heavy weapon team, uh, and, I'll have all, and I'll have all the uh, officers and stuff done. So yeah, kind of, you know, th th that's that's potentially where I'll go but I'm leaving it open I'm just enjoying painting mornings and leaving it open um one thing I have been thinking of though is I do feel like I should be having a special weapon squad per platoon I do feel like I should be doing that but that that does mean going back and adding in uh maybe four four um four or five special weapon squads so that that yeah something so that and I also think I need a proper command squad per platoon as well. So there's definitely elements that I still need to add in to really flesh things out and get it where I want to. So I feel like I might do that, but then only have five squads per platoon, and that's kind of like a good compromise. Let me know what you guys think. I'm open to suggestions. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Of course, as always, let me know what you guys have been working on. I often get a lot of inspiration and ideas from my fellow guardsmen, sort of you know, hobbying activities. So, you know, please let me know what you've been working on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.